This is the front yard of the Las Vegas Convention Center, and all these folks are waiting to attend a trade show called Nightclub and Bar. This is an unusual trade show in that sample liquors are given out at many of the booths. This is a show that also has rules of conduct. All attendees must be 21 years of age or older and have a valid ID. Smoking is not permitted. No cup larger than five ounces will be permitted in the exhibit halls at any time. Cameras and or recording devices are not permitted in the exhibit hall. Well, we'll see. here to see the nightclub and bar trade show. Okay, the folks holding the <laughs> advertising liquor are from the what? Uh, the Acai, they're from Survivor. The, the 25th? And 26th. Season of Survivor. Okay, sorry, I didn't watch the show, but everybody else is taking pictures. I don't know whether you can see. I guess it's good to be on Survivor and then you're a celebrity and you can come to shows like this. You follow. I will follow. Okay, thank you. You can let everyone else know. I stopped by this booth because it was the first one in the first aisle and I got a sample. And what they have here is coconut water. They have it pure. It's the water that's inside the green coconut or they add flavors to it and this company that's uh, exhibiting is a U.S. distributor. This is the number one such product in Mexico. I tasted the pure coconut water and it was absolutely delicious. I'm supposed to contact these folks and find out where it can be bought commercially. But really it was delicious and no liquor at all. It's warm in Las Vegas, but not that warm. This is Michael Zhang, and he owns um, a company called Merchant Mall, which includes all of these businesses that we see at this, at this exhibit. He's on the phone a lot because he has a big business. And he's got about, I think he said 24 employees in various places, and uh, he lives in Las Vegas, and he is about to expand his company, and he says here he may be hiring 60 more people. This beautiful device is a still, and it is a small one made by Bavarian Breweries and Distilleries, Inc., I'm told you can make any kind of liquor in a still like this, but this is very small. If you wanted to go into production, you would buy one that is five times this big. The small one might be used for experimentation and teaching, but it is quite a beautiful item. Are you a local girl? Local, a local model. Anyway, she's here to attract attention to DC, W, and Associates, and they will do background checks. You can see here, if uh, I were to be hired at a bar and uh, I'm going to be handling the money, uh, the bar owner just might hire these folks to do a background check. And Mr. Williams also said that he will look for lost relatives and friends, and they'll do a lot of uh, searching around the country. So that's what DCW and Associates does. The bar business isn't always a nice business, and here we have uh, an insurance company ready to uh, talk to you, talk to bar owners about assault and battery, slip and fall, frivolous claims, and liquor liability. You can lose money in a bar if you pour too much in the drink, and here is a Posey Pour 2000 portion control pourer. Are you going to do it again? <laughs> Woo! Well, that's cool. <laughs> this is Sigma Services Special Effects. She's a pretty young 
Mountain Girl, but I don't think she's Mama Walker. The hairdo that knocks him down. Good Lord, Superman is here. Well, maybe he's aged. Need a coaster? This lovely lady will be glad to tell you all about it. This is the Coaster Factory. Custom options available. <laughs> Show special. Two search lights for $5,995. I'll take a couple. <laughs> well, the Shin Digs booth is here and they will provide decor for your themed events. And uh, I guess if I were really interested, I might even get a Party Crasher t-shirt. A new way to enjoy a mixed drink. And although there are no prototypes here, here's the deal. That black thing on top, you put the liquor in and you snap it onto the Coke can. And I guess when you drink it, it's automatically mixed. This is a new product. I told the inventors here they need to go on Shark Tank and they said they're thinking about it. Umbrellas by Tucci on one side of the aisle and lounge equipment by a guy in a velvet jacket on the other side of the aisle. This is called Flutter Fetty by Party Line for New Year's Eve, concerts, sporting events, grand openings, receptions. I was intrigued by this, an innovation, a waterless urinal. Don't know whether that's a good idea or bad, but the gentleman here told me they have little decals that they can put in the urinal. He says, as long as guys have a place to aim, that's what they'll do. And because I asked him, what about a splashless urinal? So you put in the decal and you aim and hopefully everything works. Brazil is here. They are giving away some beautiful Brazilian candy. And I'm sure they're demonstrating uh, liquor that's made in Brazil. The sign says, take pride in your beer. Well, of course. Sierra Nevada beer and beer nuts. This is Danielle C. and the company is Sin City Cupcakes. How did you start this company? I started helping my mother with some catering in Florida. Um, so I was some alcohol dessert cupcakes and there was such a hit. I was talking to, uh, who was not my business partner, but a close friend of mine who lives here in Las Vegas. And she was like, why don't you move out here and open the business? And I did. And we've been here about a year. And it's just grown phenomenally. Well, great. Great. I've never heard of uh, alcohol, uh, alcohol in cupcakes. But we go on the website and we can order, right? Yes, SinCityCupcakes.com. SinCityCupcakes.com. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you. This is called a double bubble shot glass. And they're giving out uh, shots. I, th I think this is some kind of competition for the best drinks. Yoshi Inspired Entertaining will be glad to make personalized cups. I asked Yoshi what their most popular item was and they said it was this glass. It is uh, called a party bomber. You put Jägermeister in the middle and Red Bull around the side and when you drink it together it mixes. What would be a nightclub and bar trade show without beer pong? This lovely lady is Amanda Cerny, and she is the rum girl on these pictures, which she will sign and give away. And this is the rum, Black Roberts rum, which I'm sure she drinks regularly. She's a pretty girl. There are several folks here selling equipment for DJs in clubs, and Las Vegas indeed is the club capital of the world these days. Miami may offer objections to what I just said. Need a napkin with your name on it? This is the CarrotCup.com booth. Well, here's a company that makes 
something somewhat unusual. They make drink garnishes. You can see here in the packages. And they also make the material that rims the glass in various colors. Gosh darn it, there are a lot of products that can be bought in the bar industry. I want to attract attention, install one of these uh, screens with lights in your bedroom. And of course you can light up the night by installing these trees. Here's a question I've never been asked. Are you losing beer? Well, apparently the Beer Saver Draft Beer Control System tracks every ounce of beer that is dispensed and it better be paid for. This is a booth, Western Exterminator Company, and they have <laughs> they have uh, a lot of spiders on display. What is, what kind is it? This is a Mexican red meat tarantula. A Mexican red. I, I couldn't. Oh, red knees. Oh, it does have red knees. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> But you would get rid of it if we didn't want it, right? Yeah, I always try to advise people not to worry about the tarantulas. They're harmless. Okay. They really won't hurt you. Okay. Beautiful. This trade show says it attracts 31,000 people. I think all 31,000 are in this aisle. They have a lineup of people trying out uh, the smoked salmon, and I don't blame them. Oh, he's having a good time. <laughs> a showman. What can you make out of foam? Apparently everything, including chairs and... You can see that, a horse head. I knew about electronic cigarettes, but I did not know about electronic cigars. And here they are. I've been to this show before, and there is always at least one booth that claims to help with your hangover. There are two booths right across from each other. This is uh, oxygen for hangovers. So they have DG stage sound and lighting equipment and there's smoke coming out of their booth. I hope that's on purpose. Well, I stopped here because I had never heard of a metal business card. And here is one. <laughs> it is a business card and a bottle opener. Or you can just have a plain metal business card. This is a wedding invitation, and I'm not sure. I guess this is another business card. This is called My Metal Business Card. I business from Southern California. These folks will design menus, and these folks will detect uh, bills that aren't uh, legitimate. Another thing I didn't know existed. This is called the Neat Glass, and I just had a demonstration with a whiskey. Uh, the normal glass at left, uh, when you raise it to your nose, it kind of is pungent, and um, I'm told that's the alcohol escaping in that shape of glass. But here's the new glass, and for some reason, the way it's designed, the real um, of the liquor is what you feel and what the sign says is it eliminates nose burn whiplash and numbness numbness so if that's your problem go to www.theneatglass.com I had to ask about handcuff apparel this was the booth here I mean were you putting handcuffs and the gentleman explained that the glove comes inside the sweatshirt. <laughs> so if you're at a game or whatever, you can be uh, comfy without a glove or, or with a glove. Well, I've never heard of this before. Is this a new company? This is new. It's a new product. Yeah. New product. Okay, so what is a margarita clip? And the gentleman explained to me that you can see the clip. And you can see the... the beer. Okay, we're... Talk loudly here. And then it's gravity fed. As you take a sip of margarita, you get a sip of beer. So it goes down together. And if 
blends the two together. And when you're done, you've had one margarita and one, uh, well, little beer. Yes. Right? Yeah. And it's called a? It's called a beer Rita. Oh. Or if you use Corona, it's called a Corona Rita. Corona Rita or a beer Rita. I'll be darned. Well, and I need to go out more. <laughs> if you need a cultural reference, Snooky on Jersey Shore kind of likes it. Oh, Snooky likes it. Okay, we got it. She got pregnant, though. <laughs> Yes, you can't just say I'll have a Budweiser because this is a Budweiser Black Crown distinctively smooth beechwood finished golden amber lager. What is a straw stripper? A straw stripper is a way to take the wrap off of your straw and serve a sanitary straw. Straight down, straight up, you have a cap. Very quickly, very quickly, very quickly, and very sanitary. Quickly. I'll be yes, done. Now I know what a straw stripper is. All the way from North Carolina. All the way from North Carolina, accent included. Oh. The liquid has three things, but I never mix it. You can use the, the, the spoon or the straw like you want, and you can mix. So the fruit juice, fruit juice directly with the straw, same by same. Which one directly? Uh, orange juice or grape juice, which is the heaviest? Orange juice or grape juice? Orange. Grape. Orange. Grape. grape. Good. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. The French the Connection. The well, I don't know about this title. Well, vodka infused whipped cream is something I don't know about. And how does it taste? Why not? Maybe I'm not even going to do it all the way. We'll do it. People are getting sample after sample. Of course, who doesn't like whipped cream? But Well, I can think of what you could do with that whipped cream, but I won't say it here. This is a Rex Vodka lounge area, and note the <laughs> disposed items on the table here. When you need a wristband to get into a particular event, these are the folks that will make it for you. www.wristbandspecialty.com As I'm about to leave the show, I stopped by the perfect last booth to visit because they feature dessert. This is called Sweet Street Desserts. And I am told they are in 41 countries. They have distributors all over the world. And what I thought, these, I thought these were sample plastic desserts. No, 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 I'm told these are all real and this is how beautifully they make them. So goodbye trade show. I had a very sweet conclusion to my visit.